question number 16 a curve is given by y is equals 2 uh, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 part a find the gradient function of the curve so part a when you are given the fu a function to get the gradient curve you differentiate so we get dy over dx is equals when you differentiate uh, you multiply the index with a constant so 2 times 3 times 2 is 6 x you minus 1 from the from the index so 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 times 3 that will give you 6 x to power 1 because you subtract 1 from 2 then you say minus uh, here we can we assume it, it is 1 so 1 times 12 is 12 uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 anything is x to power 0 is 1 so that is the, the gradient function uh, part b determine the equation of the this you run in uh, form 4 uh, determine when you are doing uh, uh, differentiation uh, determine the, the equation of the normal to the curve at the point 1 comma minus 1 in the form y is equals to mx plus c where m and c are constant so first of all you need to uh, to to understand uh, what is the normal uh, if we take a curve like this one uh, a line that touches uh, a line that touches uh, a, a, a point of uh, the curve this is called a gradient uh, not gradient actually it is called a tangent sorry for that uh, uh, this is a tangent a straight line touching the curve at uh, at uh, at a point curve that's a curve uh, represented by a function so a line that is uh, perpendicular uh, that a line that is perpendicular to uh, a line that is perpendicular to this tangent is what we call the normal so this is normal perpendicular that they make at an angle of 90. now when you are learning the, about the gradient of a straight line uh, the relationship between two perpendicular lines the product of uh, if we call this m1 uh, on not uh, let's just use g g1 gradient one and gradient of this one if two lines are perpendicular the product of their gradient is equals to minus one so gradient of line one a gradient of two should give you minus one so that that knowledge should be able to help you to solve this now since in part one we have uh, gotten the gradient function we can now come here and say at we are told the grade at at uh, one minus one uh, gradient gradient uh, of the, of the tangent uh, which we can call let's 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 use this uh, we can call g1 is equals to we uh, see we substitute the value of x in this one in our gradient function so this will be six x, well, x is one so one squared is uh, the same as one so six times one is six minus six multiplied by one is six uh, minus twelve so six minus six is uh, zero minus twelve we get minus twelve so the gradient here is equals to minus twelve uh, so what is the gradient two uh, gradient two uh, gradient one gradient one, gradient two should be one over twelve so because when you multiply uh, one uh, that is minus 12 multiplied by 1 over 12 you cancel there you get minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 you get minus 1 so the gradient of the the, the second the first line the g1 uh, so this is the gradient of the normal okay so that is the gradient of the normal now in when you are given the gradient and uh, one point you can be able to find the equation of a line so what we do 
we take the the point one and minus one uh this is we this is one and minus one that's the point we assume at the point of contact here uh so and we take another imaginary point x and y and the gradient is so we have the gradient is 1 over 12 so we say y minus y minus minus 1 that will give you plus 1 uh, plus, ma, divide by x minus 1 should give you 1 uh, that is 1 over 12 1 over 12 we cross multiply so we get 12 y um, plus 12 is equals to x minus 1 take uh, take uh, 12 to the other side we have 12 y is equals to x uh, that will be minus 13 divide both sides by 13 y is equals to 1 over 12 and divide both sides by 12 uh, x uh, minus 13 divided by 12 so this is now our equation of the normal uh, in the form of y is equal to mx plus c uh, where m now which is a gradient is 1 over 12 and the constant c is 13 over 12 and you should be able to get the 3 marks so that's how you work out that you are being tested whether you remember uh, you know what is the normal you know how to get the gradient and the relationship of the gradient of two perpendicular lines so that's what they, they, that is what is being tested here so if you have that uh, then you should be able to get uh, the four marks in this question and those are things that you need uh, to always remember uh, that that should be at your fingertips the gradient uh, the relationship that uh, you should also know the relationship between two parallel lines their gradients are equal that information is very important or that knowledge is very important yeah, as far as you are going to apply in some of these questions.